12 cells of each 1.5 volt there it means there are 12 identical cells cells that is m is equal to number of rows n is equal to number of cells in each row that is n series you can write so identical cells and uh, cells of each the emf is equal to 1.5 volt or we can write 3 by 2 volt and internal resistance of each is equal to 0 0.5 ohm or we can write half ohm it means we have to find there are 12 cells but how it is arranged how many numbers are arranged how many cells are arranged in series and how many such rows how many such rows are arranged in parallel this we have to find out and value of m and n and this mixed combination sending a maximum current that means i max it is sending a maximum current i max maximum current current through an external resistance of one point i max that is external resistance is equal to 1.5 ohm so first let us find out see for maximum for maximum current since i we can write i is equal to m n epsilon naught divided by write this m here then write this n here put plus bar for m r and this is r this is the expression for i max i max the condition is this equal to this that is m r is equal to n into r mr is equal to n into r and as it is we know m into n what is m into n m total number of cells is equal to 12 or we can write n is equal to 12 by 12 by m n is equal to 12 by m so mr is equal to nr so n is equal to 12 by m now what is the resistance resistance we have to find out what is r here r is equal to nr by m nr by m this is where n is equal to 12 by m into r by m r external resistance is equal to 12 r by m square that it means r already we have written external resistance external resistance r that is the value r is equal to 1.5 which is equal to 3 by 2 that is 3 by 2 is equal to 12 into what is internal resistance half internal resistance will go half divided by m square we do not know what is m square or we can write m square m square m square and this we can m square is equal to 12 divided by 2 12 into of 6 into 2 by 3 is equal to 4 m square or m is equal to plus or minus 2 see number of rows cannot be negative so m is equal to 2 rows or n what is n n value is equal to 12 by m this we have written it here value of n is equal to 12 by m is equal to 12 by 12 by 12 by 2 is equal to 6 so we come to the number of rows is equal to 2 and number of number of cells in each row is equal to 6 so this is first answer and external reason find what what else this mixed combination calculate the value of m and n of this mixed combination sending a maximum current through the external resistance so we can try this one there are two rows six in series this means one one cell six n series and two rows that is
it means two there are six cells six cells in six in series there are two such two such rows two such rows connected to an external resistance external resistance value of external is 1.5 ohm r and where emf of so this is the condition sending a maximum current of 1.5 it means the current is flowing is i which is equal to i maximum it is sending a maximum i maximum is equal to 1.5 volt and fault so maximum number of row is equal to 2 and maximum number of cells in each row is equal to 6 n series calculate number of mixed combinations in the okay a set of four cells each of emf 2 volt a set of four cells emf 2 volts that is emf is equal to 2 volt and internal resistance is equal to 1.5 ohm it means all are identical cells cells it means e1 is equal to e2 is equal to e3 is equal to e4 is equal to 2 volt are connected across an external load of 10 ohm so set up four cells external load when done with two rows and two cells that is there is supposed to be two rows and this is one row this is another row it means it is in this is in series and this both are in parallel it means it is a mixed grouping two cells and two cells in series and two rows that is total 1 2 3 4 cells all are identical see we can see this 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 all are identical and connected to an external uh, resistance external uh, resistance r where r is equal to 10 ohm 10 ohm two rows two rows and two cells in each branch two cells in series and there are two rows that is m is equal to 2 and n also is equal to 2 m into n is equal to 2 into 2 4 that is total four cells four cells calculate the current in each branch so we have to cal- calculate this is one branch this is another branch so this is we call it is i1 this we call it as i2 i2 okay i1 i2 and this is i the current is flowing i calculate the current first current in each branch see now see this is what is this equivalent circuit the equivalent circuit will be like this two cells we are series we are making it a single one with external resistance so this is e plus e to e because no change in polarity into 2r e 2e into 2r e plus e r plus r see i1 this is i1 this is i2 see for an identical cells for identical cells in parallel this also identical branch this also identical branch for an identical branch in parallel the emf of the net emf is nothing but the emf of a single cell 2e so this we will see so what is i the expression for i is equal to m n epsilon divided by m r plus n r simply m n epsilon not right m with r n with r i add it so m n to n 2 n to 2 into emf is given to uh, divided by m 2 into 10 plus n 2 into r is equal to 1.5 this is the maximum value of i so i we can, we can have to find out i is equal to so i is equal to 2 into 2 for 8 and divided by 20 20 plus 3 this is 20 20 divided by 3 is equal to 23 so i is equal to 23 
which will come approximately its value approximately comes out to be we can say 0 0.35 0 0.35 ampere so i is equal to i is equal to 0 0.35 ampere in this value now see here since both are identical this branch and this branch is identical it means the i will be half of the i will be the i1 will be i1 should be is equal to half of i which is also equal to i why because for already we have seen in resistance if this branch and this branch are identical this current here and current here is equal to half of the current here or we can say i1 plus i2 is equal to i using the Kirchhoff law at this junction i1 plus i2 is equal to i or i1 plus i since i2 is equal to i1 so i1 is equal to i or 2i1 is equal to i or i1 is equal to i by 2 so i is equal to 0 0.35 by 2 so i1 what is the value 0 0.35 divided by 2 is equal to it from 0 0.175 ampere therefore i2 also is equal to 0 0.175 ampere i1 we have find out now calculate the current in each branch so the current in each branch i1 is equal to 0 0.175 ampere this is equal to 0 0.175 ampere when this join together the i is equal to 0 0.35 okay now potential difference potential difference across 10 ohm that is across this one potential across this 10 ohm potential which is also equal to the terminal potential difference of the entire mixed combination so potential difference across 10 ohm is equal to i through 10 ohm into r so v is equal to i what is the value of i i total value is equal to 0 0.35 into r is equal to 10 ohm is equal to 3.5 volt it means 3.5 volt is dropped it means the external resistance is drawing a voltage of that is potential difference between this point and this point is equal to 3.4 volt it, it it seems this is drawing a potential this is drawing a current of current of current which is whose value is equal to 8 by 23 that is 0 0.35 ampere and a potential drop due to this cell this acts as a source and it is supplying a current of 0 0.35 ampere and the potential drop across this is equal to 3.5 volt